the war against terror. It's a new kind of warfare, much more complex, that really require a new way of thinking and other kind of defense needs. Across the globe, and particularly here in the United States, people finally understand what has become second nature to Israelis. It's no surprise that nations are turning to Israeli know-how to devise security, surveillance, defense, and anti-terror technology. And who does Israel turn to for the most advanced technological innovations? The Technion, Israel Institute of Technology, to its faculty, its students, its graduates. For over 80 years, the Technion has educated three generations of men and women who have played a key role in creating Israel's infrastructure and in protecting its people. In the area of security technology alone, many Technion faculties are involved in developing effective and ingenious solutions for a broad range of scenarios. To detect security threats before they become a reality, it's vital to have surveillance measures in place on the ground and in the air. Unmanned drones have long been used for airborne surveillance. A major problem, however, has been clouds which block a clear sight of the ground. Based on the results uh, already accomplished in these labs in removal of haze, the so-called dehazing, and additional algorithms that we developed, we can say that before too long we will have technology for removal of clouds that will be second to none. Protecting airports, buses, train stations, and other public places is essential. One way is through the Technion's 3D face recognition system. Among all existing uh, face recognition technologies, our technology has the best potential to recognize faces. The goal would be to put these systems in the airports and uh, in all entry points so that the uh, officer that sits at, at, at these positions would have a very strong tool that would identify the people that are uh, entering the country. And what if the worst happens? A missile attack? Chemical warfare? Buildings in rubble with people trapped inside? The Technion's laboratories have long been at the vanguard of providing genius solutions to current or future security threats. The Nano UAV project is unique to Technion. These are essentially the smallest flying vehicles ever built by humans, up to now at least. About one-fifth of an inch, which is the little cross in this box. And it can carry about one milligram of a chemical that can change color if it comes in contact with dangerous chemicals. And therefore it can be used to identify chemical attacks. The advantages, as opposed to other methods, ground-based methods, is that these things float with the clouds. It is actually moving from research into production. I foresee we'll have a major role in protecting us from different kinds of chemical and other kinds of attacks. And what about an anthrax attack? The Technion is already there with an effective solution. There are several antibiotics that can be used against anthrax, but one of the major problems of anthrax is that it is asymptomatic until the bacterium reaches the blood. And when it's into the blood, it releases so many toxins, it might be too late to use antibiotic treatment to save their life. The novel compound created by the Technion team effectively kills the bacteria as well as neutralizes its toxins. Bioterror is completely different. You cannot feel it, you cannot see it, and a few milligrams of anthrax can kill millions of people, and therefore, development of new antidotes against anthrax should be very, very important for future defense. Search and rescue operations, whether man-made or from a natural disaster, can be perilous. The Technion's hypo-redundant robots modeled after snakes and spiders, with cameras and sensors mounted on the end, are capable of inspecting reachable and unreachable areas. Conventional robots are often too bulky to get to places where we want them to go. Bio-inspired robots can go places that other remote control autonomous devices cannot. At Technion, the science of biomechanics takes the oldest mysteries of nature and turns them into life-saving systems. The Technion continues to extend its reach in the global community. 
A generous gift by New York City real estate developer Daniel Rose has made possible a groundbreaking three-year partnership with the Technion and the Yale School of Management. The Rose family has long been identified with both institutions. A joint team from the Technion and Yale will develop sophisticated, integrated techniques for homeland security and counterterrorism. Technion's strong point has been in anti-terror research, the area of excellence of the Yale School of Management has been problem solving and a management based approach on utilizing information. So this does seem to be a shidduch made in heaven. It's my hope that this research is going to lead to better decisions in counterterrorism and homeland security operations, which actually in the end will serve to reduce the level of terrorism in the world. For us, this is not a theoretical issue. This is something of a day today threats that we face and so I hope that uh, within the time frame of the project we'll be able to deliver some goods that will actually help uh, save people's life and prevent terrorist activities. Why Technion? Why should a first-rate world-class institution be supported? Uh, because this is the hope of the salvation of the world. In a world where technology has expanded the vision of possibility, the Technion is leading the way to help keep people of the world more safe and more secure.